Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Edna. Um, so to cover the agenda for tonight, um, we're going to have a, a welcome from Mayor Kava, um, Miami-Dade County, and Colonel Hallberg. Um, we'll be talking a little bit more about what's at risk in the context of um, hurricane storm surge. Um, we're going to talk about the study timeline and a review of the uh, recent process. Uh, then the exciting part, getting to talk about what to expect in the 2024 draft report uh, under the study. And then we'll cover the next steps and our question and answer uh, session for this webinar. Um, so just a few more uh, ground rules for um, using Zoom and the, uh, the, the meeting tonight. Um, you can please remain muted throughout the presentation. Um, and the Q&A. Um, we're going to be taking all, all the questions and comments through the chat box. Um, if we need to at the end, uh, for any reason, uh, you'll be able to come off mute after being called upon. Um, and if we don't get your question during this meeting, um, we'll be uh, producing a, a question and answer document um, to be able to share as well. Um, so really looking forward to your engagement tonight. Please um, be active and um, say hello and, and share your thoughts and, and questions in the chat. We'll be recording them throughout. Um, all right, so now I'm going to uh, turn it over to our, our Mayor Dana Levine Cava, who's uh, recorded a video uh, for uh, welcoming you all tonight. So give me one moment. Good evening. I'm Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. Welcome to this public webinar on the county's Back Bay Coastal Storm Risk Management Study, or as we call it, the Back Bay Study. This process has been long and your continued engagement is critical to our work alongside the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I want to thank the U.S. Army Corps Norfolk District Colonel Brian Halberg and the Chief of Planning and Policy Branch, Michelle Hammer for their continued support throughout this study. I must also thank the entire USACE family, including Eric Bush, whose steady eye on the end goal has helped us create a more resilient plan. The study's goal is to better protect us from storm surge, the rising water that comes from a hurricane or tropical storm. We can't keep storms from impacting our county, but we can significantly reduce damage, save lives, and leverage investments to create a place where all of us can thrive. When you last heard from the team in August, we were deciding whether to commit to additional years or to end the study. It was your voice that helped steer us to a new approach that better protects our community and provides added benefits to our environment, people, and economy. With support from you and the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works, Michael Connor and his staff, we jointly gave a resounding go to continue with the study. We will be co-creating, testing, and deploying nature-based solutions from coral reefs to the dune system to mangroves and more. We will also prioritize plans to protect critical facilities like pump stations, police and fire stations after a disaster. This will all be done with a focus on prioritizing solutions like elevation and flood proofing that protect homes and businesses. And while we're at it, how about we get them off septic tanks too? South Florida is no stranger to long-term large-scale projects that have the power to reverse ecosystem damage. This is what we're doing as part of the comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan, an approach we will model moving forward. Miami-Dade has the most core projects in the US. So it's important to coordinate and work in partnership with our cities, universities, all levels of government, nonprofits, businesses, and residents to get the job done. There is no time to waste, which is why we're taking a multi-phase approach. Let's get funding for the projects we all agree on in this year's Water Resources Development Act so we can deliver results now. You will hear more details tonight and see the entire package once the draft report is published for public comment next month. Your continued support remains critical to building a future ready Miami-Dade together. In August, we said go, and now we're pressing the accelerator. 
Dale Miami Day. Thank you for tuning in tonight. All right. A big thank you to our, our mayor for being a real a real champion and a partner uh, with the Army Corps uh, leading us um, in this work. I want to now introduce um, for an, another welcome from um, a district commander from the Norfolk District, uh, Colonel Brian Hallberg. Uh, Colonel. All right. Well, that's a tough act to follow, um, always. But uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking Mayor Cava, the Miami-Dade County team, and everyone joining this evening's public webinar. Your continued participation in this process is invaluable, and I appreciate you taking the time to be here tonight. As Mayor Cava mentioned, the objective of the Miami-Dade Back Bay Feasibility Study is to develop solutions to manage coastal storm surge risks. And last August, we received the support from the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works, Mr. Michael Connor, to continue with this important study. We recognize that coastal storms, they're increasing in strength, they're, they're gaining intensity, and the time to act is now. With this in mind, and with the support and direction of Mr. Connor's office and the Army Corps of Engineers headquarters, we're moving forward with an interim response that will more quickly advance the suite of non-structural risk management measures for design and implementation in some of the most vulnerable communities in Miami-Dade County, while additional study work continues. The current study effort will culminate in a chief's report to Congress this year for consideration in the 2024 Water Resources Development Act. Together with Miami-Dade County, our team is working diligently to prepare a draft report for public release next month. This evening, the team will provide a broad overview of the key components of the draft report. These include the recommended non-structural measures for immediate authorization, a comprehensive study framework for managing coastal storm risk that looks beyond 2024, and a request to authorize two separate programs a nature-based solution program and a non-structural program. Of course, as I'm sure all of you are aware, this effort is only one of numerous ongoing projects in Miami-Dade County. In integration with other federal, state, and municipal projects and initiatives continues to be the, a priority and, a, and an essential element for success. In closing, I'd like to thank you all again for participating tonight and for lending your voices to this vital effort. Your input and the input of other stakeholders has shaped the course of this study to date, and it remains essential to future success. Together with you, we are all committed to developing creative solutions for managing coastal storm surge risk and improving coastal resiliency in Miami-Dade County. So thank you for your participation. Thank you so much, Colonel, for again, for your leadership, the, the work at the Norfolk District and the many other Army Corps um, teams and divisions and staff that have been supporting this study over the years. Um, yeah, a great, great start for us. Um, I'm going to jump into um, a little bit of just context setting and, and history to help set us up for why, why the study is happening and, and what's what's changed and to give the, the full update. Um, I first just want to start by, you know, really showing a bit of of where we've where we've come from in terms of the the changing landscape over the last you know century or more here in Miami Dade County. Um, on the left hand side from the late 1800s, you can see where um, while we had um, you know some communities that existed and were living here, um, it was a, a wet a wet place uh, with the historic Everglades. Um, uh, flowed, um, you know, as far east um, uh, in the county as um, compared to today, where on the right hand side, we've got, you know, a, a serious and, and, and really large scale transformation of the landscape where we have both the, the built environment um, made up of homes and businesses and critical facilities. And you can see in blue are the series of canals um, that connect 
um, the Everglades to Biscayne Bay. And we're, you know, we're really lucky to have um, the two national parks here in Miami-Dade County, Everglades National Park and Biscayne Bay. Um, and this study is, is really looking at um, the risk to um, our communities that, that sit in between those areas. Um, and so it's really important to note, you know, uh, as we've developed and, and